Visual line of sight guidance in the UK has officially changed today, getting rid of the previous 500 meter general guidance and replacing it with new compliance means. Today, the UK CAA have adopted a new acceptable means of compliance and guidance material regarding the rules and procedures for the operation of unmanned aircraft. This document provides what the UK CAA see as their official acceptable means of compliance, ensuring that your drone flight complies with UK legislation. This document is law and confirms the legal definitions in yellow with further guidance in green below. As is the process with adopting new legal documents, the CAA put this out to public consultation a few weeks back and have now today, December the 7th, 2022, formally adopted it, meaning the previous acceptable means of compliance is now revoked. Here on Geeks Varna, over the next few weeks, we will be bringing you a series of videos explaining what the new AMC means for you and your drone. So if you're new here, hit the subscribe button and to get notified of our simple and straightforward explanations as they're released. We also have a live show coming very soon with the CAA to talk through the AMC itself and other topics including a live Q&A. If you are one of our regulars do me a favour and hit the like button nice and early as it does help us with the YouTube algorithm. As mentioned today we're going to look at the new AMC and guidance for visual line of sight but first I want to explain quickly what the acceptable means of compliance is in as simple a way as possible. This document represents the legal definition of how the UK CAA will accept that you have, as a drone pilot, complied with the legislation that is in place. So, where the law might tell you that you need to keep your drone in visual line of sight, for instance, this document, the AMC, tells you the steps that the CAA will accept to show that you're complying with that. As regulator of the airspace, they produce the document, and as mentioned before it's adopted as a legal document, it goes through a public consultation. You can actually devise your own acceptable means of compliance and have that approved by the CAA of course but that process is beyond most drone operators especially recreational users so if you follow the AMC and guidance you will be following the regulations via an acceptable means of compliance. More on the overall document in later videos and of course the live show previously mentioned. Right now let's dive into the visual line of sight section. AMC Article 27 definitions gives us the definition of visual line of sight operation and unaided visual contact. It states, unaided, in this context means without the use of any other equipment such as binoculars, telescopes, cameras or any other such equipment. This does not include corrective lenses which may be worn. Note, provision is made in Article 41D and UAS Open 0.0604 for the UA to be flown in the open category beyond the visual line of sight of the remote pilot due to the RP using follow me mode. You'll remember from one of our previous videos where we talked about some of the lesser known parts of the drone code where you're actually allowed to have the drone go out of line of sight when it's flying around you and behind you. If it is in follow me mode, the official follow me mode of the drone and is within 50 meters or when making use of of a UA observer and FPV equipment. Further guidance material on the use of FPV equipment can be found in GM UAS Open 0604. I'll come back to that in, in a future video. Definition of visual line of sight operation, control the visual flight path. In order to control the visual flight path of a UA, it must be kept within a suitable distance of the RP, such as that they can monitor the aircraft's position, orientation, and the surrounding airspace at all times. So that is the legal AMC part of the document. We are no longer looking at general guidance of 500 meters depending on the aircraft size. Now we have very specific compliance means. We need to be able to see the drone in a way where we can control the flight path. It should be within a suitable distance of the remote pilot to monitor the position, the orientation, and the surrounding airspace at all times. So that does not mean the drone is a tiny speck on the horizon or you can only just see a flashing light. You need to be able to see other objects in the air and on the ground close to the operation as well as the orientation of your drone. This is then backed up in the document with further general guidance which helps you comply. Let's take a look. So below the yellow part here, which is the legal definition, we have the general guidance notes. Definition of visual line of sight operation, control the visual flight path, which of course goes into more detail. Being able to control the visual flight path of the UA means keeping it within a suitable distance of the RP, such that the RP can maintain control of the flight path of the UA to avoid a collision 
with other aircraft, people, obstacles or the ground. This distance depends on a number of factors including the eyesight of the remote pilots, the size of the uncrewed aircraft, the visual conspicuity of the UA, colour and contrast of the UA against the backdrop, so against the sky, from the viewpoint of the RP, any navigation lighting on board the UA, the weather conditions, i.e. fog, sun glare, etc., terrain and any other obstacles that may obscure the view of the UA from the remote pilot. Whether the operation is during the hours of daylight or night, although there are not specific limitations on operating at night, the visual conspicuity of the UA and ambient lighting may affect the distance to which the UA may be flown from the RP. The distance will likely vary on each flight depending on these factors, and the RP should be able to identify at what point VLOS can no longer be maintained. Just because the UA is still visible, for example a dot in the sky as I've seen before, this does not mean that it meets the definition of VLOS. An RP must be able to visually determine the aircraft's orientation at all times. Whilst this may potentially be aided by navigation lights, the sole use of telemetry to indicate a UA orientation to the RP is not considered as acceptable. So here we have some pretty clear and simple instructions from the CAA as to how to comply with the legislation in place requiring us all to keep our drones in visual line of sight at all times. There has been a need for this to happen for some time now, especially with the size of the average consumer drone like the DJI Mini 3s etc becoming smaller and smaller. Now there is a decent amount of variance in the guidance in terms of eyesight, weather, contrast of the drone against the sky and even lighting but it's also pretty clear in terms of guidance that a dot on the distant sky or a flashing beacon barely visible is not seen as complying. You must also use the aircraft itself to determine orientation rather than the telemetry on the screen of your remote controller. This will also impact our night flights as we need to ensure we can see the sky around our drone clearly. I have a specific video coming up soon on night flying with updates including information from the AMC uh, if for the UK for recreational pilots which updates our old video in terms of this new guidance. However the conspicuity of the drone and the ambient lighting will have a greater impact on the compliance of a flight moving forward. Now of course as with any regulation or law much of this will only come into play when there is an issue crash your drone and cause injury or damage or be investigated for flying recklessly and you will probably expect this AMC to be used to see if your drone flight was compliant. What are your thoughts on this topic? Does this new means of compliance and guidance help define to you how far you can fly your drone? How will this change how you currently fly? Coming up next we will be breaking down the new AMC on a range of topics including uninvolved people, FPV flights and a host of other topics. So again subscribe if you're new to get those updates. Before you go YouTube thinks you would like to watch this video next. They chose it, not me. Were they right? Sean out.